sé. Hello and good evening. Can you hear me well? Good evening, yes. Good evening, yes. Wow, so punctual students. How are you doing tonight, dear students? Good, I am happy. And you, teacher? Terrific. I'm the happiest man in this moment. Precise, in this precise moment, I am the happiest man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking. What about you, Nelson? How are you doing tonight, sir? Yes, teacher, or here. A little uh, nervioso. How do you say, how do you say nervioso, huh? How do you say nervioso? Uh -huh, classmates, help your classmate. Nervous. Could you say that again, Saul? Nervous. Okay. The pronunciation is nervous. Repeat, guys. Nervous. Nervous. Yes, I am nervous. Nervous. I am nervous. You could okay. even modify it saying, I am a little nervous, or, 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 or I am very nervous, or I am really nervous. <laughs> so now my question, Nelson, for you is, why are you nervous? Why are you nervous tonight? Uh, you have an exposition it, or something? Yes, the exposition. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you had an exposition in English before? Excuse me, teacher. Have you Repeat, have you please. have you ever had an exposition in English before? Mm, no. You haven't. Is fair is is fair class. Okay, you say you say it's my first time. Uh, it's my first time. Okay, my okay. Time. I am glad. I am glad it's with me. Right? Because you were my student in basic level. So I have the opportunity to take you again out of your comfort zone and take you to the next level. Having expositions is a great practice. It's, it's a great technique for you to improve your English skills. Do your best, feel happy, take some time, breathe slowly, right? Speak slowly and clearly. Don't go very fast because we want to understand everything you're trying to say. Welcome everyone. I can see many of you logging in. Yes, welcome. How are you? How, how are you doing? Are you ready for the expositions? Are you ready for showing your English skills while having an exposition? Are you? Yes, welcome. Welcome, Monica, Rene, right? Let's call the attendance. Let's call the attendance now. Okay, uh, Ana Julia Mayora Rodriguez, are you in the house? Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present teacher. How are you, Carlos? How are you doing? Also good, and you? I am blessed. I am blessed, definitely. Ready for your exposition? Are you having the exposition tonight? Yes, yes. Excellent. Ready. Good to know, good to know. Okay, uh, how about the Maris Menari Marroquín Rivas? Are you there? 
Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Envía Sofía Pérez Castaneda. Emma Jamilet Corea Madrid. I'm here to chat. How you doing, Emma? How you doing tonight? Okay. Um, Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera, are you in the house? Josibeth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Sorry, teacher. Iris, are you Sorry, there? Teacher. I have a problem with yes, Iris. Iris, Hi, okay. Uh... Welcome, Iris. Um, Joel Eulises Menjivar Mendoza. Josué Neftalí Sibrián Hernández. Present teacher, I'm here. Hello, Josué. How are you doing tonight? Oof, too much work, teacher. Are you tired? Yes, very tired. <laughs> I... But I... <clears throat> I have worked in it from, from 6 p.m. Do you to, have worked from 6 a.m. too? Yes. With investment. Con inventario. The inventory. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Inventory. So that's so very important job, huh? Yes. Okay. Morning person. Thank you. Are you ready for your exposition? Are you having your exposition tonight, Josue? Uh, no. I'm sorry. Not ready. Uh, You're not ready. Then... No, I, I don't. Ready. Who's who's your who, who's your mate? What did you say? Who is your classmate? Who is your your couple? Your partner? Partner and um, Emma. Emma. So Emma, you haven't gotten organized with Josue for this um, exposition? No, teacher, we have a problem <laughs> all day. What happened? Um, oh, you work? Uh, yes, the work. And I think maybe can the uh, Monday, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it depends, it depends because um, I'm gonna leave you at the end, so if the other teams take the time then you will be able to pass until monday but let's cross fingers okay let's yeah, go with because it has been very difficult i know i know you're busy you work all day just like josue right jose yes. says he works from 6 a.m on so that's difficult i yeah. totally understand Okay, um, Carla Elizabeth Garcia Carpio, are you there? Manuel Alejandro Barrias Arce. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present teacher. Hello Marbelli, how are you doing tonight? Fine, thank you, and you teacher? Pretty good, I am blessed tonight. 100%. Um, are you ready for your exposition tonight, Monica? I mean, Marbelli? Mm, no, sure. What do you mean, I'm no? <laughs> what do you mean? Mm, I'm very busy today. But you can improvise, right? You can improvise. Right? Hey, teacher. Hey, teacher. <laughs> yes, you have a question? Sorry. No, no, no. Only for uh, on, the, on, the, on the coming uh, weekend, we have more more work. All. Oh, I really? Oh, yes. I uh, know. For example, from 
Yes. Uh, for example, from uh, Friday, Sunday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I think hey, we have a very much. But there is time for everything, okay? You just need to be organized with your time. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Uh, let me continue with the attendance. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. Present, teacher. Hello, Monica. And Natalie Geraldine Flores Goldames. Are you there? I'm here. Nelson Rolando Melgar. I am here, teacher. Give me one second. <laughs> Somehow I was taken to another field. Okay. Um, I was with Nelson. Okay. Um, Oscar Eduardo, Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Are you there? Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Paulo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Present teacher. Patricia Veronica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Good evening. I'm here. Awesome. Um, Sarah Maria Molina Cubias. I'm here, teacher. Already. And Saul Arnulfo Menjibar Crespin. Present, teacher. Already, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me see. I have some chats. Damaris is here, Elizabeth as well, Byron, Raphael, absolutely welcome everyone. I'm pretty excited uh, to continue um, calibrating your English skills, monitoring um, what is good, what is bad, but most of all, um, I'm going to focus on what is bad, right? Because the objective is to improve and to become better. Okay, so I'm gonna open here my my notepad. Okay, and we're going to get started. Uh, do we have any volunteers for tonight's expositions? Hello. Do we have any volunteers for tonight's expositions or we go with victims, huh? <laughs> Elizabeth says, I'm very busy this week and I can't finish the exposition. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say, people? <laughs> Opinions, comments. Okay, Josie, I got it. Thank you. Uh huh. Now, I believe that is fair if it's fair not to give you more time guys because uh, some of your classmates had the exposition already yesterday so that means that all of you have had one additional day for preparing for preparation you know so to me um, in my own opinion, I believe that if you are not like prepared 100%, at least you should give it a try. At least you should give it a try because it is necessary. It is necessary to feel the pressure of really using your English skills. That fear of speaking in front of people, that fear of, of transferring my information from my thoughts to my mouth and, and, and let other people understand, that's when you are slightly becoming a bilingual, you know what I mean? So this kind of activities, it's part of, part of the show, it's part of the game, it's part of your learning process. It's really important. And my job is to help you. So that's what we're trying to do right now. Remember that this module is going to finish next week. So I don't have 
a lot of time with you guys. So I want to uh, help you as much as I can. Okay. So we have no volunteers. In that case, I'm going to call, call the next um, team for this exposition tonight. Okay. I want to say thank you to the following people who actually presented their exposition yesterday successfully, uh, such as Sandra, Brian, uh, Sarah, Saul, um, who else? Josibeth and Iris. And that's great. Um, thank you for sharing information also on the chat. We really appreciate your proactivity. Now, I want to see a hand raise if we have a volunteers. Me teacher, I'm ready. All right, so Byron, right? Byron. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me get ready for you, Byron. And you go with? With Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Are you there, Sarah? Teacher. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Don't panic. No. Don't get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, look with I uh no say I what? could do the present small day for um prepare I no say ya, ya lo tengo como preparado pero no hice las presentaciones y este no sé no me siento bien para hacerlo ahorita porque prácticamente ahora lo hice ya casi antes de la clase ok 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 I understand I understand eh, well pero no, no sé si Bayro lo tiene tiene su parte no sé pero pero no 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 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next Monday, please. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. What happens is that next Monday we go with the next, um, you know, uh, content from the agenda. Uh, so we're kind of tight on Monday. Um, but no worries, Miss. No worries. Don't worry. I understand that okay. you are busy and you couldn't Teacher. do it completely. Go ahead. And I am speaking alone. You don't can do it by don't... yourself? Yes. Okay, I'm going to evaluate you then. I'm going to evaluate you only. No problem. Um, let me okay. go ahead and get ready for you. Are you going to present? Um, are you going to have a presentation like a PDF presentation or something? Are you going to no, share something? No, I am only speaking. Only speaking. Okay. okay. Yes. No problem. No problem. You start, okay. you start on three, two, one, go. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, classmates. I speak of infinitive and gerunds. The difference of infinitive and gerunds is, is the infinitive is used the verb to plus base form, and the gerunds is using the verb ing. Infinitives and gerunds are sometimes referred to as verb complements. They may function as subjects or objects in a sentence. The gerund is a verb in its present participle from that functions as noun that names an activity rather than a person or thing. Is for example, Alan can't stand riding on trains. Mr. Harris enjoys inviting people out dinner, and I'm making other examples. I can making a 20 cakes in less 20 hours. The 
The structure of gerunds is the use verb plus ing. It's for example, she doesn't invite people for the dinner. The infinitives. It's a verb form that acts as other parts of speech in a sentence. It is formed with to plus base form of the verb. And for example, she likes to get up early in the morning. My wife always volunteers to bake cakes. And these other examples, my dogs always eat to eat food. I like to working in the morning. I hate to working at the weekend. It's fully. Is that it? Yes. Okay. Give me one second, I'm taking some notes. Uh, who else is ready? Who else is ready? Nobody else is ready, huh? So the rest of the students will not have a score. Coach. Sorry? Hello? Uh, we are ready. Who's that, Rene? Okay, great, great. Yes. Give me one sec. Okay, give me one sec. Interactive. There you go. I'm going to put you your score right now. Um, I think that the main weakness for you, uh, Mr. Byron, is your um, just polishing your, well, a little grammar, a little grammar in uh, your intonation practically. You really need to, okay. you really need to watch a lot of um, TV shows in English. You really need to... Yes. Uh, listen to different kind of uh, different kind of music um, and try to sing those songs regardless if you like it or not you do do it for practicing purposes uh, so you will be polishing and polishing yes, your, thank you. your age your pronunciation right okay thanks so I'm gonna put you your score right now. Let me see, let me select everything. I just missed my camera right now. I don't know what happened. Let me post this first. I'll post it on the WhatsApp chat now. Some people are not connecting, so that's why um, administration management is contacting them. Interactive, interactive, interactive. There you go. Oh, there you are. You're back. Okay, so Rene, Rene, who's your who's your partner, Rene? 
Oh, I had teacher. Carlos. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I go with you, uh, some corrections I have for you, Byron, okay? Some corrections I have for you, for example. The, okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. I'll put you some corrections right there. Uh, would you say he doesn't invite in people? You say you said something like that, an example like that. Um, so the auxiliary doesn't must go with the base verb. Okay. You could have said like, like she doesn't like, and then the next verb ing. She doesn't like inviting. Like no, no, she doesn't like inviting. So the second inviting. verb with the ing. Yes. But it's not she doesn't possible. like inviting. Yes. It's not possible okay. to say she doesn't inviting something with ing there. No, it's not possible. No. So always the base verb. Okay. Okay. No ing, no third person because you're using the auxiliary doesn't. And the other doesn't. one was I like using the infinitives. Using the infinitives, I like to. You said you said I like to working. I, I like, like to, to working. So that's I not like right. to work. I like to work. Yeah. Because you're using infinitives. Yes. So the two yes. verbs, the two mm -hmm. verbs go base form, and between the two verbs, you have the preposition to. For example, two. yes. Okay. For example, I like to work. I, I like go, to work. I go to dance. I go to dance. I go to dance. Yes. I go to dance. Yes. I I walk. Or at, or I run to my work to exercise to the exercise. Okay. So you're you're using two and, verbs, but you're using a preposition between them. Do you understand? Yes. Practice that. Practice that. Make examples okay. and send me the examples to my private WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Good enough. You have your score right there. Let's go with Rene. Rene, you're working with. With Carlos. Ooh, Carlos. Rene and Carlos. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. I got you right here, Carlos. Very well. Okay, let me just erase some information right here. And your time will start in three, two, one. Let's go. Good evening, teacher. Uh, good evening, the other classmates. Carlos and I we will talk about the topic modaverse. When we want to ask for things uh, or the address from invite people yeah. to meeting or to our home, to make offers, we use modaverse. We use modaverse to make requests sound more polite. In English, making a request uh, short and direct is considered impolite. It's much better to use a longer version of the request by using a modal verb, so that the request is less direct and therefore uh, considered more polite. For example, uh, we can make a request in, in both ways. In, in less polite way, it would be, for example, lend me some money. Uh, on the other hand, using a modal verb and, and more polite, it could be, would you lend me some money, please? If we see in the example, uh, in both ways, we made the, the, same, the same requirement. Uh, the, the difference is that using a modal verb, we sound more polite. Some of the most used modal verbs are will, can, who, and who. And the structure is modal, plus subject, plus a basic form of the verb. We usually add the, the word please at the end of the request when we use in who. For example, uh, will, you, will you take or order please? When we uh, add the word please at the middle of the request when we use in uh, would. For example, 
Would you please open the door? It is not always necessary that we use the, the word please. Also, uh, please be on me. Some example of the most common uh, modal verbs that we use in daily life are uh, using can. Uh, can you lend me five dollars? Can I borrow your pen? When we use in cool, would you pass me the potatoes? Would you open the door, please? And when we use in woo, would you open the window? Or would you like uh, something to drink? And there are uh, just some examples. Carlos, uh, could you continue with the exposition, please? Hello, everywhere. Uh, I will tell you about request when will you mind. Uh, the structure to us records when will you mind for possible question is wall plus herion or verb plus ENG uh, plus complement. Uh, for, for example, will you mind closing to window, please? I am call uh, a possible ask word to to this wall it is sorry, but the window is struck. Or sorry, at this moment it closed. Is I'm sorry, at this moment it closed it. Um, a negative request the structure is wall. You this is wall you mind plus not plus hero or bear plus ing plus complement. Uh, for example. Will you mind not sitting here? A and a correct a correct S word is could be sorry. I didn't release this seat uh, was taken. Or sorry, but I also had the rain to sit here. Um, this is my this is my participation. Uh, thank you for uh, your attention. Okay, you have uh, no role play. No. Okay, let me see. That was four minutes thirty seconds, guys. So uh, we're going to deduct you one point for that reason. Let's see, I'm deducting. I'm deducting you one point because you didn't meet the time. The time was seven minutes, okay? I need to be very honest with you, Rene and uh, Carlos. Yeah, so I'm deducting you one yes. point, okay? Um, so uh, I really liked uh, the presentation. Um, in, I would have liked you to prepare me uh, like sort of a role play, like a little conversation between you two because uh, you have uh, a lot of potential and um, it could have been very interesting. Try to go, try to go the extra mile next time. Okay, try to give more because you can do it. Now let me share your score and my comments and I'm going to give you my recommendations as well. There you go. Okay, so uh, let's see pronunciation maybe plus plus plus. plus. Yes, that's plus. a mathematic symbol, right? Plus. Uh, everything you're saying must be in English. So ing, that's the thing. Ing, okay. Ing. Now pronunciation. Um, this is in simple past, right? Or or participle. Considered. The pronunciation d d at the end. D d. Considered. Can you can you try it on it? Considered. Considered. Considered, and both of you need to practice structure. Repeat structure. 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 The structure. The structure. Yes, structure. Um, let's see. Possible. 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 
possible. possible. We have possible. possible. We have possibly, right? Possible. 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 Now, the module verb, the module verb would, would, W O U L D, the letter O and the letter L are voiceless. Okay, Carlos? Okay. You don't would pronounce you. them. Correct. You pronounce the letter U, you pronounce the letter D, and you make a circle in your mouth, a circle, uh, because it's the letter W. Would. 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 You. Mine. Give me the N. N. Mine. Would you mind? Repeat. Would you mind? Mine. Uh -huh. Would you mind? Yes. Okay. And pronunciation of answer. Answer. Repeat. Answer. 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 Okay. Answer. answer. Uh, I like your fluency, Rene. Very fluent. Uh, I like your intonation uh, when you're making questions. That's pretty well. That's pretty well. And you handle all the basic tenses very well, Rene. Congratulations. Both of you need to um, continue practicing more more and more and watch a lot of uh, tv shows in english to improve your pronunciation sing songs in english but most of all you need to practice your oral your oral skills with somebody okay good job okay Thank give you. it up for you give it up for you congratulations congratulations applauses uh, so that means that you did great you did great i really like it okay who's next Who said me? Who says me? Who says me, huh? Who's next? Hello, who's next, people? Who's the next? No, Nelson? Who's yes. your who's your partner, Nelson? With who? With Elizabeth. Uh oh, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, I guess Elizabeth chatted me something. Yes, teacher, I'm right. I wrote you because I I really very 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 hard work this week and I uh, don't finish uh, my presentation uh, and I hope you accept my presentation on Monday, please. Uh, like the uh, like the emoji because, face. <laughs> but, uh, the, uh, because you accept presentation, my uh, teammate, my uh, classmate, and Nelson, because he um, he let me he. He has a great esfuerzo. Effort. <laughs> and yeah. Effort. And he wants to give this night, this, tonight, her his presentation. Yeah, he wants to give the presentation. So is yeah. it okay yeah. if he gives his part today and maybe you give your part tomorrow? I mean, Monday? Oh, oh right. Is that okay with you? It is <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> oh, yes. you got so happy. <laughs> yes, yes, please. But Nelson, you're ready, right? Yes, Nelson, he is very ready tonight. Okay, awesome, awesome. Let's do it like that. Let's do it like that then. Let me get ready for you, Nelson. Let me get ready for you. Let's see here. What is your topic, Nelson? Is uh, the first conditional. Oh, how interesting. Okay. 
Okay, so, so if you're passing uh, yourself, then that means that we're going to split the seven minutes exposition. So that should be, um, you should last, let's say three minutes and 30 seconds. That's your time. That's your target. Okay, Nelson, try to exceed three minutes and 30 seconds. So I don't deduct you one point, okay? Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me take, um, let me set up my stopwatch again. And you go on three, two, one, action. Can you see my screen? I can clearly see it. Okay. The first conditional. Continuing with the first conditional. Let's look at the negative form. Repeating the structure. The first part is the conditional and second part is the result. For example, we have the conditional. If I study today, the result is I go to the party tonight. Another another sample in the form negative or the negative form. If I don't study today, the result is I don't go to the party tonight. Another sample. If he tells the truth. They will forgive him. The negative form is if he doesn't tell the truth, the result is they don't will forgive him. The interrogative form. For example, if he tells the truth, the result is they will forgive him. Now, the interrogative form is if he tells the truth, will they forgive him? And other sample, if it is sunny tomorrow, I will have a picnic, the normal form. Now, the interrogative form is, it is sunny tomorrow, will I have a picnic? Thank you. Thank you for attention. You are like a clock. I got three minutes and 38 seconds. That's great. You met the time required. Great job. Teacher. Yes. I have to to second or second part the presentation. For your partner? Yes. Oh, but she said that she's passing on. Monday. 
because she feels not ready for today. Are you able to present that for her on Monday so she can have her exposition? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, yeah. Thank you for your proactivity, uh, uh, Nelson. Okay? Thank you. All right. So let me put you a score right here. As you know, we are still uh, in the process of becoming better, right? In this English English language. So I'm pasting right now your result, uh, Mr. Nelson. Um, well, from what I can see, we have a good potential. I just noticed one mistake on the PDF presentation where you put, I will, don't go. So I want to remind you that the negative for will, what is the negative for will? Want. 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 Okay. Yes. So you don't need the uh, auxiliary don't because don't is for the present, right? And want is for the future. Okay. In um, pronunciation, maybe you could pronounce better the word example. For example. For example. For example. For example. For example. Or, or you can say, for instance, for instance, repeat, for instance. For instance. Yes, perfect. And truth, the truth. 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 With truth. sound. Truth. One second. Truth. 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 Okay, sorry. Truth. 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 The truth. Okay, and um, congratulations on having that PDF file, right? Um, you meant the time required. I like your pace. It's a slow, it's not fast, okay? It's necessary for you to continue um, the connection with the English language. Uh, you need to have applications on your cell phone, on your smartphone, so you can practice more grammar, practice more grammar, and continue watching a TV series in English as much as you can, movies in English, practice them in English, put the subtitles, put the captions in English so you can get more vocabulary, okay? Nicely done, congratulations. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, who's next? Who is next tonight? Teacher. Yes, Joel, go ahead. I'm not ready because I didn't have enough time to make my homework. But to, to do, I to do, to do my homework. To do, to do my homework. But I think that my partner, she is, she is ready. Oh, thank you for the info. I think if, if, if you want, you can ask her. Who is your partner? Um, uh, Giselle. Ms. Giselle, are you around? Ms. Osorto, are you ready for your presentation tonight? Yes, teacher. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Let me put your name down here. Giselle, right? Giselle. Let me see. Giselle, Giselle, where are you? Oh, there you are. 
is one S and double L. Okay, gotcha. What is your topic, Giselle? All right, all right, let me get ready. <clears throat> okay, so same case with uh, Nelson, right? If you're the only one passing today, you're supposed to meet three minutes and 30 seconds. That's your target, not the teacher taking you one point out. I don't like to take points out. So try to exceed three minutes and 30 seconds speaking, okay? Okay. All right, let's start on three, two, one, let's go. Um, good evening, it's a pleasure to greet you all. This time I will explain the adverbial clause of time. The adverbial clock of time describes or defines the when sometimes uh, happen. They are easy to identify because we will always see them words like um, after our truth, because before, if, since, that, until, when, or where. Forming subordinating conjunction. A subordinating conjunction joins two sentences. A dependence a subordinated and another independent mind clause. Um, for example, uh, when I sleep well, I feel great. In analyzing uh, the situation, we see that uh, when equals subordinating conjunctions or other, I will, I equal subject I sleep is equals bear. Now, when I sleep well is a subordinated or dependent clause because it dependent on some other idea to be completed. I feel very great. It's a mind clause or independent clause, clause because it might sense it on, on its own. Another example. Um, before going to a party, I will, I will give before equal subordinating conjunction or adverb. Uh, I will subject. I go equals a verb. Before going to a party, subordinating or independent clause, a boy, a gift equals mine independent clause. The adverbial clause of the time um, can appear at the beginning of the word sentences or the middle of it, it's fine to sign. Uh, for example, I buy a gift before going to a party or before going to a party, I buy a gift. I feel great when I sleep well, or when I sleep well, I feel great. Conditional sentence with a, is clouds. In general, conditional sentence describe ideas or situation that dependent or on another, they are linked or to a condition. In particular, if the conditional sentence is used in the following cases. Uh, do a circumstance that might occur, do a conditionalist that I likely to be fully uh, to give a, a this or truth instructions so the imperative most is used instead of will. Therefore, we must remember that the first conditional you said when there is um, una possible 
situation and consequence. When talking about possibilities in the present or in the future, the word if is used in the conditional and complement incompleted expression is the device into two parts. The part, the first part while contain the if expression and the second the mind clause. The and structure The structure, the if call the if clause will be composed of the word is plus the subject plus the bear in the simple present. The mind clause will be composed of the subject plus when while plus the bear. Um, for example, if you come home late, you will get in trouble. Or if you will, if now you, if you will, if now you will save a lot, a lot of money. If you don't like, don't eat it. Thank you for, for your attention. Five minutes. Outstanding job, Miss. Good effort, good effort, great effort, congratulations. That's the purpose. It cannot be perfect. It cannot be perfect, right? But what matters is that you're taking your English to the next level. So very happy with your presentation, Giselle. Uh, I wanna thank you for preparing a PDF file. Also, I want to thank you for doing your best on uh, exceeding the time required. It is important to comply. It is important to comply as a student. Go the extra mile. So that's what you're doing. Now, your weakness, your big weakness is your pronunciation. Uh, maybe um, finding the ways to sound more native or, or, or natural. You can only obtain that by improving your listening skills. Uh, as much connection that you could have uh, with native speakers is the best, is the best for you, okay? Um, let me see. Let's pronounce, let's pronounce some uh, corrections that I noted here for you. For example, identify, repeat, identify. Now the verb buy with money, buy, pronounce, pronounce. Gift, gift, like a present, like in the birthday, gift. Beginning, beginning. A sentence, a sentence, sentences, okay? Um, a case, a case, cases, cases. Used, used, must, must, structure, structure, plus, plus, example, example, trouble, trouble, trouble. All right. Good enough. Let's just stop here with the uh, presentations. Let's go over the attendance real quick. So we get done with this week, guys. Thank you for all your efforts. Absolutely happy with you. Ana Julia Mayora Rodriguez, are you in the house? Present teacher. Thank you. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino, are you there? Present teacher. Okay. Brian Eduardo Mundo uh, Medrano. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. 
Present teacher. Thank you. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Thanks. Daisy Magdalena Hernández Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Awesome. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejía Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. I got you, Elizabeth. Okay, I got you, Elmer. Thank you. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Hello, hola. Hola, hola. Emma Jamilev, Korea, Madrid. Present teacher. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Present teacher. Josibeth Ab Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present teacher. Joel Ulysses Menjiver Mendoza. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Josue Ulysses Menjiver Mendoza. No, no, no. That was Joel. I'm sorry. That was Joel. Josué Neftalí Cibrián Hernández. I'm here. Karen Elizabeth García Carpio. Let me see. Manuel Alejandro Varías Arce. Marbelli Jocelyn Alemán de Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Thank you much. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. I'm here. Oops. Okay. Great. Nelson Rolando Milgar. Present, teacher. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Present, teacher. All right. Present. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Here, teacher. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. I'm here, teacher. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Present. Sara Maria Molina Cuvias. Present, teacher. Saul Arnulfo Menjivar Crespin. Present, teacher. Guys, needless to ask you, we're done with one more week. I will see you guys on Monday. Come ready for the ones who owe presentations. Happy weekend. See you on Monday. Night night. night. Happy Good weekend. Night. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Bye-bye. Be safe. Enjoy it.